Hi everyone, today's video is a public service announcement about macOS 26 Tahoe, which was released on September 15th, 2025. One of the most popular topics on my YouTube channel has been how to use legacy Fireware devices on newer computers, and I've made a dozen videos on this topic. Both macOS and Windows have had challenges with Firewire support over the years, and I've spent a lot of time finding workarounds to retain using these legacy peripherals. Back in 2022, when Apple released macOS 13 Ventura, they removed Firewire support from core audio, which means that audio interfaces like this one, which only use Firewire, would no longer work in newer versions of macOS. I made a video about these findings and suggested staying on older versions of macOS if you relied on these devices. Interestingly, Firewire was not fully removed though. External hard drives and mini DV and HDV camcorders still worked all the way up to macOS 15 Sequoia, which was introduced in 2024, and still worked on newer systems with Apple Silicon, despite what ChatGPT may tell you. You either needed two adapters from Apple, one of which was discontinued in early 2024 and has been expensive to buy secondhand due to low supply and high demand. The other method, which didn't require adapters, uses a more readily available PCIe Firewire card in a USB 4 enclosure, which was the topic of my last video on the subject earlier this year. However, all good things unfortunately seem to come to an end. In the summer of 2025, Apple released betas of their new operating system, macOS 26 Tahoe, and one of the first things I tested was Firewire. Unfortunately, all of my Firewire devices stopped working, and other testers posted online verifying the same problem. For example, here I have two laptops. On the left is my personal 14-inch MacBook Pro, still running macOS 15 Sequoia, and on the right is a test device for my work, which is also a 14-inch MacBook Pro, but this one is running the official first public release of macOS 26 Tahoe. If we connect this camcorder to macOS 15, it works. If we use the same connection to the system running macOS 26, it does not. I tested both using Apple's Firewire and Thunderbolt adapters as well as the PCIe Firewire card in the USB 4 dock, and neither seemed to work with Tahoe, but works fine in older versions of macOS. The same situation happens with an external hard drive. It works on Sequoia and older, but doesn't work on Tahoe. I opened a ticket in Apple's Feedback Assistant where it was eventually silently closed and listed as Works As Designed, despite there being no place like a support article officially listing this change. This is odd because Apple is usually very detailed in their support articles, especially for things that they consider minor that don't make the release notes. So what can we do about it? The best thing we can do is report these problems to Apple. The more people that contact Apple asking about Firewire, the more likely they are to restore support for it, or at least officially document that it's no longer supported. Remember back in 2016 when Apple took away ports like MagSafe, HDMI, and the SD card slot on their MacBook Pros, but then brought them back in the 2021 models? That was because of our feedback. There were also two minor versions of macOS Monterey 12.3 and 12.3.1 released back in 2022, where Firewire randomly didn't work but then was silently fixed in 12.4, so anything is possible. I did some investigation and found that the system extensions for Firewire are still present in Tahoe, just like in Sequoia, but Tahoe clearly isn't activating them. Of course, if I find a workaround, I'll be sure to make a video about it, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you ring the bell to be notified of any new videos. At this point, I recommend any users who rely on Firewire devices to not upgrade to Tahoe, at least temporarily. In fact, if your Mac is 2019 or older, Tahoe isn't even supported, so you won't have to worry about the system trying to upgrade you. And if you have a newer system, or you've already upgraded, it may be possible to downgrade, but all that depends on the model of your system, so I'll just link to Apple's support article on this in the video description. Now if the Firewire device that is holding you back is something like an external hard drive that you're using for backups or data archival, then it would be best to replace it with something newer, which will be way faster and more reliable. But if it's something like a camcorder where you need to transfer some old tapes and you won't be shooting any new ones, then your best bet would be to finish capturing all your old tapes and then upgrade once you know that you won't need that capability anymore. Anymore. Besides, if the need does arise, you can always keep an older Mac around and use that specifically for working with your older Firewire devices, and if you don't have one, you can buy a used one when that time comes, especially since they get cheaper the older they get. I personally keep this 2011 model around for these kinds of things, and it still works great despite being 14 years old. That way, your primary Mac can remain on the latest version of macOS, which will have all the latest features and security fixes that aren't available in older versions of macOS. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you need anything from Amazon, you can use my affiliated links in the video description. Your price stays the same, but a small commission may come back to me, which helps support all the time and effort it takes me to research these topics and make these videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And with that, I thank you for watching and have a great day.